Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, August 4th. A 45 year old woman is seriously injured after an apparent accidental shooting in a Nampa neighborhood. Police were first called to 17th Avenue South around 930 Friday night, where they found a woman in the front yard of a home with a gunshot wound to the chest. At this point in the investigation, police say it appears to be the result of unsafe firearms handling. A 63 year old man across the street has been identified as the shooter. It appears the bullet went through the wall of his home before hitting that victim. Officials say the victim's injuries are possibly life threatening. The case is currently under investigation, but at this point, no charges have been filed. Well, most of the state is under stage one fire restrictions this weekend as firefighters continue battling multiple wildfires across the state. The Sharps fire burning six miles east of Bellevue is now nearly 64,000 acres and just 43% contained. Gusty winds on Friday pushed that fire north where nearly 500 firefighters remain on scene this weekend. Pre-evacuation notice has been issued now for residents in this highlighted area. It's north and east of Buttercup Road and Myrtle Street in Haley. That means those residents are urged to gather documents, medications and pets and be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Well, it's almost time for kids to head back to school, believe it or not, but affording school supplies for the whole year can be a burden for some. The Canyon County Sheriff's Office is alleviating those costs for some kids in the community. At today's Shop with a Cop event, 65 kids hung out with Canyon County deputies and then boarded a school bus straight for Walmart. Each kid received $200 to spend on backpacks, pencils, any school supplies they need. Kids were specifically chosen by law enforcement for either good behavior or economic need. Canyon County community members and businesses donated the money for the kids' shopping trip. And the Sheriff's Department also hosts a Shop with a Cop Christmas event later on in the year. Now, the On Your Side forecast. Hopefully you are enjoying our slightly cooler than average temperatures right now in southern Idaho because it's all about to change. We've had a westerly flow since uh, Thursday, really late in the day on Thursday. Friday, it really started to clear our air out and drop our temperatures. Uh, Saturday, we are below average and on Sunday, we'll likely be below average as well. And from there on out, the heat comes back. High pressure builds over the northwest and that means that strong southerly flow that will also likely bring more smoke into the picture as well. So again, enjoy it while you have it because things are definitely going to change. Sunday's afternoon high, 89 degrees. On Monday, we're back above average at 94, close to 100 by Tuesday, and then it's triple digits for the remainder of the work week, 102 on Wednesday. On Thursday and Friday, computer models saying 105 degrees, which would tie the record for both of those days. For the latest news headlines and up-to-the-minute weather, go to 6onyourside.com.